Hey, hey everyone, welcome back or welcome if you're new. I am happy to have you here. I am Tara and this is Life Over Debt. And if you are new, apologies, I do have something, some kind of bug. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but that's not going to stop us from going over 2023 and how of amazing of a year it was for us um, with this cash stuffing system. Um, a little bit about myself. I have not introduced myself for a while. I am 46 years old. I am married to my husband, Jim. We have been married for 15 years. We each have two children apiece. They are grown. Um, we still have two that live in the household with us. Um, they are special needs, so they will probably always live with us. Um, I would love to be out of debt by the time I'm 50. My husband is older than me, so he will be retiring in a couple of years, and I want him to be able to retire without having debt. So let's get into it, and we will see what the year has brought us. I will see, I will show you guys how I make the cash stuffing system work for our family and how well it's done. Hey guys, just hopping on here really quick. I forgot to do the quote. <laughs> <laughs> from the video so let me do that really quick and it was on Wednesdays we wear pink and that was from Mean Girls so let's see what the next quote is going to be oh I love this one Kmart sucks <laughs> let me know if you know that it's such a good one let me know if you know Kmart sucks thank you guys bye um so let's see first off I'm going to bring out, whoa, I'm knocking stuff down. <laughs> I got this little planner from, I think Staples, it was it was clearance. I took everything out of it because I didn't really need it. I just wanted this, this part right here and to use it for what we're going to do today. So, I need a piece of paper. <laughs> I need a piece of paper. We're just going to use this. <laughs> You guys will we'll get into this later. Okay. 2023. Now, in 2023, I tracked how much we paid towards everything starting from the beginning of the year. But I did not track our actual debt amounts until May. And I started my channel in August. So, these numbers right here, these are everything that we've paid in the year of 2023 when we get to the next page for how much debt we've actually paid off. It's only since May. So we have three credit cards and I don't suggest you having credit cards if you have issues with overspending. We have three credit cards. We have a bank credit, credit card that are a, a lot of our like bills monthly bills go on to because we do get reward points for them then i have an amazon uh, credit card that goes strictly for amazon purchases and i pay that off um, every month and then we have a sam's club credit card that is that's our membership plus it's a credit card and you get points sam's cash back and we use that for everyday purchases so starting off for 2023, we have paid $4,249.49. That's just monthly bills. That's not all of our bills because about at certain points through the year, some of our um, subscriptions or like utilities or whatever stopped using credit card and you had to go through it directly to your bank account. So that's just everything that I'm able to pay with the credit card. And then for our mortgage, we've paid a total of $6,433.32 this year. Our personal loan, we've paid $6,084.36. Now, these are not how much we paid down. This is how much we paid. Our Duke, which is our electric company, it's $2,454 for the entire year. T-Mobile, which is our phone, we do have five lines on that phone, $2,485.54. And then let's see what we got next. Sewer. So we we live in town, in our town, but we don't have city water. We are on a well. So we just pay a sewer bill 
and they base that every month of the household size so that always stays the same so our sewer we've only paid six ninety eighty four for that and also that is part of our trash our city provides one trash can um free of charge well not free they charge it to your sewer bill but kind of free whatever so um we've paid six ninety eighty four to that hulu nine sixty two fifteen we did start out with hulu live um, at the beginning of the year, then they raised their prices. So we went down to Hulu. Well, we had Hulu Live, no ads. Now we went to Hulu Live with ads. My husband loves to watch news and everything, and we don't have cable. So we do use that. But when I did um, change my subscription, we got Disney Plus for free. So, hey, and with our T-Mobile, they pay our Netflix. So we have Netflix, but we don't pay it. We have Disney Plus, but we, we don't pay it. Vectrin is our gas, our natural gas. We paid $1,446 this year. Spectrum is our internet, um, $959.88. Now, a long time ago, we did go through them with our home phone and our in, um, internet and our cable TV, but that has since changed many moons ago. Amazon credit card, this year we've paid $7,000. $23.31 and a lot of that happened in like October, November-ish for Christmas. Our Sam's Club. Now this is the big one. This is the one we put our everyday purchases on and we pay back every month. So $34,888.88 we have paid towards that credit card this month or this year. Sorry. Harley. My husband's Harley. I couldn't read my own writing there for a second. <laughs> We've paid $6,840 towards his Harley this year. My Honda. We've paid $5,840 to this year. My husband's truck, $4,923. Our camper is $2,768.32. We did not get the camper till May, first payment in June. So we paid a good chunk of that. Progressive, which is our auto insurance. Um, our auto, um, motorcycle, and camper insurance, $959. This time last year, um, I did change to Progressive. We had USAA, and we were paying approximately 200 and some dollars a month for two vehicles. That did not include the Harley, and of course it didn't include the camper because we didn't have it then. So, this is for one year of... Um, motorcycle insurance and six months of car insurance and a year for the camper so yes republic which is our trash pickup i told you we do get one trash can free with our sewer from the, our town but we do pay for an extra trash can a month and we pay that quarterly so it's 5160 youtube subscriptions i did not start this until earlier this year i believe it's it's been five months so that is actually to Liz Liz and Liz her Be Thirsty Beaver subscription $49.95 and YouTube premium I've only had two months of that that's $27.98 so all in all we've paid towards bills this month year is $89,437.62 now when I get here to savings this is just extra savings that we pulled from our checks that was just extra um after we had all the money for the bills and everything that we needed. We put $6,255.39 in. And then our high yield account, I we had 4,000 at the beginning of the year. Now we have 8,000. So we put 4,000 in there. My savings challenges. Uh, let me get this out. My savings challenges. I did not start keeping my savings challenges until I don't know when, but I've been doing savings challenges since the beginning of the year but I didn't keep them or track them. But here is all that I have finished that I have still. It's all of these, all, all of these. And just the ones that I have that I've tracked and I still have, I've saved $4,149 with this year. That is not all I've saved. Like I said, that's just the ones that I have um, that I kept. So yeah, I did all these. This was Renee. That's Liz. That's Liz. This is um, Star Budgets. So I would next year, well this year I guess now because it's Happy New Year. 
Um, I'm going to save every single one because I want to keep track of how much we actually saved in savings challenges. Because, and some people might not understand the whole sense of savings challenges. You're spending money just to, you know, do these savings challenges to pay on your debt or whatever. But it makes it fun. Before this past year, we never put money towards debt. Um, it's not fun. We never put extra money towards debt. With savings challenges, it makes it fun to do. And if it costs you a little bit of money to save that amount of money to pay towards your debt, because you are putting, um, I can't even think what I'm saying, guys. I'm <laughs> in my mind. You're putting that money to a certain place. You know where it's going um, before you start it. And once it's done, you put it towards that. So that's amazing. So 14 or 4,000, who needs to be back in? 4,149. So in all in all this year, we've saved approximately 14,439. I know that's more, but like I said, I didn't track it. Now I don't usually do this. Um, this is kind of like behind the scenes thing. I don't usually like let you guys know the apps I use. I just downloaded another one um, that Ange, um, Ange Budget and Debt, she recommended. I just watched her apps video. So I downloaded another one of those this morning. But Fetch, this year we did already go ahead and cash out this year for a couple of gift cards. But I'm going to let those build up this year four more gift cards and I just started receipt hog and I have 1,334 um, coins in there right now so that's good all right let's get you I want to well hold up hold up get my we're just gonna do it this way <laughs> okay Okay, so for our mortgage this year, you can see everything, almost everything. Okay, our mortgage this year, our balance starting in May, like I said, I did not keep track of my balances until May. Starting balance was 69579 and we are just down 1136 80 Still a lot of our payment is going to the interest. That will turn over at some point to where we're paying more towards principal. Our personal loan started at 19600 and we are down to 16500 So we paid over $3,000 off of that this year. And that's without making any extra payments. I have not made any extra payments to any of these right now because we are working on our student loans. My car started at 23, almost 23500 It is now down to to 20,000 almost 500 so we paid almost three thousand dollars off of that this year again no extra payments and then my husband's Chevy it is down from 27,000 to 24,700 over 2200 dollars paid on that this year that's awesome and his Harley was the big one we were over 26,000 on that one and now we are just under 23 thousand so we paid thirty three hundred dollars off of that our camper started out in may our beginning balance was twenty thousand three hundred thirty we've only paid one thousand four hundred thirty one on that just like i said it's still new so not as much principal as going towards this student loans okay so this very first student loan um this is actually august when i started tracking these um when they started becoming due again. So our daughter's student loan is 6283 and she, right now she her payments are due so a lot of her payments are going to the interest. I try to tell her she needs to pay more but if you guys have a daughter, you know they don't listen to you cuz you don't know anything. But the only reason it's on here is because my husband co-signed for that, so it is in his on his loans. So for our first loan, um, I'm, the balance is thirty six fifty seven forty three. It did in, earn a little interest, even though the payments are due. Some of these are still earning just a little bit of interest, so it's only earned a dollar to interest in since they started back up in what October. So that's not bad. We are not working on that one right now. Okay, and um, his second loan is. 39,026.46. 
it's still the same. Nothing. No, I lied. <laughs> His second loan. We paid thirty nine twenty six forty six. This one is paid off. I was kind of looking at it and like, I thought I paid that one off. Anyways, this one is actually paid off. This is the first one we paid off. So we paid almost 4000 off on that one. Okay, for his third loan, uh, it is down 152.34. Is this the one we're working on? <laughs> I don't remember which one we're working on right now. Excuse me. <coughs> but right now, we are down 152.34 on that one. I will take it. That's weird. That did earn some interest, and I didn't calculate that. Hold on one second. It earned an interest at the last minute, so I had to calculate that. 58. Where's my pen? I've lost. There it is. Yeah, it earned interest at the last second. Okay. Here we go. A, this is a one, two, three, four, fifth student loan. <laughs> okay, so this one is down $10.66. This is the one that the extra payment from our last loan got put to, so ten sixty six. dollars All right, so this is the loan we've been working on ever since this one, so we've gotten two loans paid off. So it was a thousand sixty fifty eight. We paid a thousand sixty fifty eight. I gotta fix my number here. Minus point fifty eight. So fifty one forty eight forty four. Let me fix this really quick. So I want my numbers to be as accurate as possible. All right, there's that. And then, so at the beginning of the year, our oh, that's not right either. Plus 0. 0.58, 19, 3, 7, 2, fix that one. Okay, we started out with $200,000 in debt at the beginning of May of 2023. This was lower at the beginning of the year. I don't know how much lower because we added that $20,000 camper. But we are um, just under 181000 now. So we've paid uh, just over $19,000 off in our debt, you guys. And since since May. So, and that's without paying anything extra except for the student loans. So that's amazing. So I put my goals in here. And I do I done, I done. I told you guys on my last video, my December recap, we are putting a pause on this one right now because I want to worry. We have 8,000 on our high yield savings account right now. That's way over what Dave Ramsey says you need to have before you start paying on debt. We're just going to kind of keep it at 8,000 right now and put that extra money that was going into this account to our debt. So... We are doing that. Okay, so I did these um, a little while ago. I'm going to get a sip of coffee really quick because my throat is very sore. I did these a while ago. These are starting off May 2023. Here's our mortgage. Um, each one of these little flags is $696. Obviously, <laughs> we've only paid one. We are not quite to that second one. I believe after January's payment, we might be to that second one. But this is... Our highest loan. This is our personal loan. Um, we have gotten from here to here on our personal loan since uh, May. So that's amazing. Um, this really does help you visualize what your payment, you know, where you're at. My Honda, we're about at the same place. Kind of going around that first bend. My goal is to have it close to halfway maybe by the time this year ends we'll see my husband's truck payment is a little bit less because his truck payment when we started this out his truck payment his truck loan was newer than my car loan so it had a little bit extra so when we started out we was at 27,000 on that totally fine motorcycle loan it's gone around that first bend I'm hoping hopefully we'll get close to halfway by the end of the year 
Our camper is doing pretty good. We started May with our first payment, or June with our first payment, and we've already colored in seven of these flags. So that's great. Now, here we go. Student loans. So we started off here. This is in August because I didn't start tracking these till August. We are all the way up to here already. Now, granted, each one of these is only $141, but this is our lowest debt. So, yay. Then, you guys, we, oops, let me find my paper because I get to fill this out. I started my CD ladder. Let me find my paper just to make sure I have the right amount. So, I told you guys in my um, goals video that... 2877 and put 0 2877. So I wanted to start a CD ladder with the interest I use I earned from my high, high yield savings account. So we started it for January. I just started it this morning. I'm not able to take a screenshot for privacy reasons. It will not let you, but trust me, it is there. So we have those, and then uh, I've made each one of these 40 because I want to have a thousand dollars. I'm going easy on myself. I need to have little progress first. So I've made each one of these $40. So hopefully in a couple months, we'll be able to color one of these in. But I have one for every single month, every month. So there's that. Let me get this out of the way. I've done this. I've done this. All right. So we're going to go get into our monthly. This is our new um, binder from Calva Plan. I absolutely love it. So it's got everything I need and what it didn't have, I just added. So it's got this um, yearly bill review. So I just put the bills in here in the order they came out um, every month. And if they didn't come out every month, I just put them down here. So my YouTube subscription. $9.99. I just put that at the first of the month. That's the same. Our credit card bill, this is going to be mostly fixed um, just because our bills are usually the same every single month. So $238.53 is what will be paid this month. Our mortgage, if you guys remember from last time, my mortgage went down. It went down almost $50. It was $550.07. Um, when I um, changed my homeowners, if you guys remember, they upped my home, homeowners over $500. And I called them and I'm like, absolutely not. So I changed. Um, we finally got our reimbursement check because um, our bank had already paid the previous. So we got our reimbursement check, put that right back into our escrow. They reanalyzed our account um, right away. And it went down to 50721. If any of you guys have any questions like about escrow and how it works and everything, let me know. I that I did that for like three years. I was an escrow administrator for your bank. So if you have any questions why it goes up, why it goes down, and you know why a big jump, let me know. I actually know that stuff. Um, our personal loan is the same every month. So pretty much all of our bills are fixed. So our personal loan is 50703. It comes out on the 5th. Duke um, is our electric bill. We do have that on budget plan. Not budget. It's um, it's where they um, reanalyze your usage every three months and adjust your bill accordingly. So that you never have any overages or anything like that. Um, to where you have to pay a big lump sum at the end of the year. I know that's the way they used to do it. And people freaked out. But this month it went up to 216 from 199, which makes sense because you know we're in our we're in the winter months. It's darker. We have lights on. Uh, yeah, so it's weird. Um, my this was not right. This was <laughs> this is premium. This is supposed to be 13.99. I put that down here. I like 13.99 for YouTube premium on the first of the month. Now my subscription. This is my Thirsty Beaver subscription for Liz and Les, $9.99. T-Mobile bill, it does vary a couple pennies um, every month, but for the most part, it's fixed expense. Our Harley is also, it's 
you know, are, your loan payments aren't going to change on your personal loans. $570, campers $346.04. Our sewer every month is actually $55.57, but they charge you $2 to pay it online. I just pay it. Um, it. All of these bills are automatically withdrawn except for the credit cards. All of my bills are automatically withdrawn from my account or from my credit card automatically. I used to not have it and would sit down every single week and make sure I paid every single bill. It got to be too much. So now that I got these pretty much fixed and I know when they come out, I can plan accordingly. Um, my Honda is 486.70. His truck is 410.25. Our Hulu is now 76.99 a month. Vectran, which is our gas, is at $82. That might go up coming soon just because we are getting into the winter months. Excuse me. <coughs> our internet, which is Spectrum, is $79.99. This student loan, I'm just going to keep track on here. We have not paid anything in January yet. Republic, that is our trash. It is built quarterly. That is due this month for $13.29. Progressive, we do not owe anything this month. It will be, it was due in January or December, so it'll be due again in March. Amazon credit card, I will put down how much we paid because there's never like an amount due on it because I, I paid that in our Sam's Club card off all the time. And then I will put on here how much we put towards savings. So let's get in here. I love this planner because it has like four days that and you have your goals and everything. Um, it, uh, I don't really care about that much. And this too, the whole budget thing. My budget's pretty much the same almost every week. The only thing that changes is what I put into our sinking funds. So we're not going to do that right now. Plus my husband is still off work. He's off work till the end of January. We'll go back to work February. So we're kind of low budget right now. It's fine. All right. So here is my monthly spread of my calendar. Ooh, that reminds me. See, I'm glad I put that there. I need to take my shot. My shot's in the refrigerator. I have to let it get to room temperature so I can take it. So I put on here when everything is due. And everything marked in pink, I don't know if you can tell by here, but there are, that's marked in pink, that's marked in pink, that's marked in pink, that, and that, and that. These are all that get paid toward this bank credit card. So that amount is for all the things marked in pink. Now, everything else is something that has to come out of my bank account, and I'm going to show you how I do that um, to keep my sanity. So... That's that on that. Let me bring out my check register. Now I have this check register. I am a pen and paper paper gal. I am not digital to keep track of my money. So anyways, so here it is. And this is for this week. And I've blocked out the amounts just for privacy reasons. You know, I feel like I share enough <laughs> on here about my numbers. So my husband, okay, this is just starting right now. This is starting at 1229. He did get, he is um, disabled through the military. So he served in the Air Force slash Air Reserve for 22 and a half years. He does have things that he lives with every single day, like hearing loss. He has COPD because he was a loadmaster on a C-130. And he has asthma and now he has sleep apnea. He has things that he deals with from being, it's, it's service connected. So... The VA does give him a monthly stipend for that. I'm not going to say how much that is. That is his business and, you know, not anybody else. So this Vanguard here, this is a retirement that he got from, um, he used to work at Nissan down in Tennessee before we met and he worked there for long enough. He was able to go ahead and get a retirement. It is a small amount only because he do, he chose to have this keep going even after he passes away. So it goes to me. So we have a buffer. Our buffer is right here. Okay. Without these two deposits, all these bills are paid for the month. So I already have the money in this account to pay for all of these bills. But we're going to add in these accounts and then we're going to go to our credit card. Our credit card for the bank is 238.53. Mortgage 507.21. Um, personal loan 507.03. Our Duke is 216. T-Mobile is 232.51. Vector and 82. What I do is at the end of every month before the new month rolls around, I already know how much these two are going to be. 
I go ahead and pay all of these bills. These bills are already, I don't pay them, pay them because they are automatically withdrawn, but I put them in this book to let me know that that money is accounted for that's there. So we don't have to worry about anything else. Nothing else comes out of this account. The only thing that goes in is my husband's paycheck and if we transfer to savings and if we make a withdrawal. So it stays pretty clean. But at the end of the month, I pay, pay, Maggie is on the printer, the bills for the next month. And by the time we get down here, this amount right here, this is the bills. So these were the January bills. That money was up here. So when we get to this amount down here, this is already the money in the account for the February bills. We are a month ahead. Some people would say we're two months ahead but we're a month ahead on our bills. That's what I say. Um, so that's how I do it and that's what's easier for me because this is an account, We, this is our bill account. Nothing else comes out of this account. We have a debit card, we do not use, my husband actually does not have a debit card to this account because his kept getting hacked and he just said screw it. I mean like four times in a year. So he doesn't even have a debit card to this account. I'm the only one who does, but it doesn't get used. This is strictly for our bills. And we are a month ahead, and this is how I, in my mind, I'm able to do it. So in my mind, these bills all came out on the 30th, even though they haven't because they're coming out on the 5th or the um, 10th or the 12th or the 22nd. But that money, I've already put a, a job for that money that's in the, that account. That is what you're supposed to do. You were supposed to give every dollar a job in your budget. So that's what I've been doing. So yes, I can't remember if there's anything else I wanted to talk to you about. I don't think so. But that's how I do it. So yes, again, we use credit cards. Dave Ramsey says not to use a credit card. I think that if you are wise with your spending on your credit card and use it for a purpose, it's okay because the money from this credit card already is accounted for with the money that's in the bank. So we total up our bills. We have a buffer in our account that covers everything for one month and we make sure we are one month ahead. Now for my Amazon credit card and my Sam's Club credit card, I cash pool from my envelopes. So I save up for things in different categories and when I use that credit card, I pull that cash out to pay that credit card off. Um, it, the rewards are just great and I can't say enough about it. So I'm kind of a hybrid, ditch, or hybrid cash stuffer because some people just pay totally cash and that's totally fine. We pay cash for certain things sometimes, sometimes we don't. I have, you know, a grocery and a gas and a household envelope in my wallet with cash. Sometimes I pay cash, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I use my card and I just pull that. Now my husband gets his personal money, he gets um, his um, dues, He, I get personal money and then we get money for dining out and tips and everything. That's all cash because that's all we can use. There's no other envelope to pull that money from. So that's all we can use. So that's it. Anyways, so let's see what we're going into this year. I just went over my December 20, um, or not my 2023 with you, but we're going to go in here and we're going to start off. Okay, so now the only thing that has changed from my December or my 2023 closeout, I added my CD ladder. So every month I will add my CD ladders together and any interest that will be the ending balance. I don't look for this to grow. I look for that to just pretty much just stay the same. And then what else we got? Right now our debt is at 180, 983.97. I am hoping to get that to um Let's see, 178. That's, I would love to get to at least 178 down to this month. So we'll see you guys. So if you have any questions, please let me know. If I didn't explain something that well, I, I'm 
not feeling well, so I might have confungled things <laughs> for you guys. But that is a little bit about me. That is a little bit about how we budget and why we do the things we do. This system really works. It works for me. It can work for you. You just have to adapt it to your needs. It's not everybody does it the same way, and that's fine. You do what works best for you. What works best for us is that we use a credit card every month because on that credit card, my Sam's Club credit card, I have it set up to where I get a text message every time that card's used. Me and my husband both have a card. Every time that card's used, I get a text message, and that is how I track my spending every month. And that's when I know what I know how to pull. So I'm not having to look at credit card statements or anything like that. So that's that's a um, a plus for that credit card. So anyways, you guys, I love you. Thank you for sticking with me through this past few months. We are going on, what are we, September, November, December, January. We're going on five months, guys. Five months on my channel. Let's get it to 500 so that we can do a giveaway. You guys know I love giveaways. Let's get it there. So make sure you are subscribed. Subscribe if you're not. It's free and it'll get closer to a giveaway and you might win. You never know. All right, guys, I will see you later. Have a great rest of the week. I hope this new year is the best one for you yet.